As more and more New Yorkers are trying to find COVID-19 relief in the form of food, food distributors are rushing to find ways to feed millions of housebound residents. This includes children who rely on school lunch programs. Preparedness experts advise households to have at least a 14-day supply of food and medicine on hand, whether or not there's a disaster. That's hard enough when economic times are good, let alone during a pandemic. New York City's food system, one of the largest and most diverse in the world, is about to go through an extreme challenge change as more people are losing money on top of the 1.6 million people in New York City who already live in poverty. In Westchester, where the outbreak was the first widely reported in the region, Feeding Westchester is trying to meet the greatest demand it's ever seen. It's going to be offering drive through emergency food pickup in their parking lot. Anyone in need of food can drive up for a meal kit that will include shelf-stable and refrigerated items as well as fresh produce. It's open to anyone in Westchester County. No no ID is required and you don't have to get out of your car. Now, if you are sick and in need of food, you're being asked to not attend this distribution. Instead, call your local municipality or dial 211. All right, so if you are heading into this food bank, you want to keep in mind it starts at 10 o'clock today, runs until 2 o'clock, both today and tomorrow, right here in the parking lot of Feeding Westchester in Elmsford. And by the way, if you are unable to go to the food drive because, say, for some reason you don't have a way of getting here, you don't have a car, or you're in one of the vulnerable groups like the elderly, well, I spoke with some people inside Feeding Westchester moments ago, and they tell me that there are some area agencies who are working with those vulnerable groups to make sure they get the food they need without having to leave their home. So that is some good information this morning as this coronavirus crisis continues to take over the region. We're live in Elmsford, Westchester County. Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News. Good to see people are helping out in any way they can. Rebecca, thank you.